Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma bera habita fi Allah This was in response to someone who has uh, immense doubts about Salafiyya And in fact many people who do And many people who have had negative experience from dealing with some Salafis And this is the case and I just wanted to mention a few points uh, As one particular person commented and mentioned about all these negative things that happened to them. They said they left Salafia 2004, you know, many, many years ago, 13 years ago, in fact, and that they tried to, to they, they mentioned that what they observed was cultism and that a denial of the, uh, of scholarship and a rejection of true Islamic scholarship and classical scholarship they also mentioned that there was a lot of sinfulness like that sisters in many of the communities that they observed were being married for just a couple of months here and there and being run through, so to speak, just passed around the masjid and they witnessed an abuse of, uh, of the women. So I just wanted to mention, first and foremost, we know the path of the Salaf. It's the straight path. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Hold on, all of you steadfast to the rope of Allah and do not divide. So we cannot divide from the straight path. The Prophet ﷺ drew in the ground, uh, a line in the ground, in the sand, and he said, He said, Hadha sabil Allah. This is the path of Allah. And then he, Thumma khatta ala yaminihi wa khatta ala yisari. And then he said, Wa hadhihi subul. Uh, then the Prophet Sallallahu drew a line on the right and on the left of that line he said those are the paths and on each of those paths there is someone, there's a shaitan that calls to it. So those are the paths of Hezbiya and cultism and of all the jama'at and ahl bid'a wa And the Prophet Sallallahu said <clears throat> the Prophet ﷺ said the Jews were breaking the 71 sects, my, uh, the Christians 72 sects, my ummah the 73 sects, all of them in the fire except one. And then they said, who are they, Ya Rasulullah? He said, those who are upon what I'm upon and what my companions are upon. Letting us know we have to stick to what Ahl Sunnati, what Jama'ah, is upon. And that's what we claim is the path of the Salaf and, and the Salafi path. And the Prophet said, The best people are those people who, uh, uh, the best people are those people uh, of my generation, then who's followed them, then those who follow them. So this is what Salafis attempt to follow. Now, with regards to your own uh, issues that you, you, uh, found. For one, I don't know, it sounds like you're probably from America, could be from the UK, but your experience seems to me that it's limited to the West and what you observe from particular communities, because there's lots of Salafis, tons of Salafis that are far from those characteristics. However, there have been communities in the past, and a lot of us have made mistakes in the past because of our lack of knowledge, because of our lack of fiqh, and our lack of practice. Because when you think about it, a lot of us, those who are were non-Muslim and they come to Islam, they require tarbiyah, they require education and a re, uh, recalibrating their behavior to fit Islam and to obtain those characteristics. It's not simply that a sister one night is in the dancing on the pole in the strip club, she becomes Muslim, and then she instantly is going to be uh, like Ummahat al This is not the case. But a lot of us, we took the physical appearance, so we have many real situations like that. The next day, the sisters are wearing niqab, literally. And then we think it's okay. So we didn't have the tarbiyah. And likewise, we have many people, many of our brothers and sisters who are born as uh, Muslims, and they don't have the tarbiyah as well. But perhaps they might have some Islamic culture in their house and some important aspects that gave them a type of tarbiyah. But still, they run into some of the similar uh, problems. 
So your experience by what you found with a, a, a group of individuals as far as the sinfulness in those communities does not reflect Salafia as a dawah because we don't observe this. I live in Saudi Arabia, which is uh, a country which uh, claims Salafia as their, their menhaj in general, the government does. So the whole society in general uh, adheres to the Salafi creed. And uh, with regards to individuals, there are many people who adhere to the menhaj of the Salaf. And you don't have those same issues, regardless of the issues that you have. So the point is, is that your another, your, 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 your view is restricted to wherever your locality and those negative experiences that you had. And I will rightfully admit have been widespread because we didn't focus on Tarbiya. We came back, many of us, and we only talked about who's on it and who's off it. And it scared people. And many people were attacked in their honor and so forth. So people got a negative view of what Salafi is. But if we look to what the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam taught, and we look to the way the Salaf emphasized manners, and we look to even what our scholars, many of our scholars, emphasize as far as manners, we would see something different. And that is the Salafi Minhaj. The Salafi Minhaj say, says, based upon the hadith of the Messenger of Allah, alayhi salatu wassalam, who said, مَا مِنْ شَيْءٍ أَثْكُلُ فِي مِزَانَ مُؤْمِنْ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَ مِنْ عُسْنُ خُلْقِ وَإِنَّ اللَّهَ يُبْغِذِ وَفَعِشَ الْبَرِي There isn't a thing which weighs heavier on the scale of a believer than good manners, and verily Allah hates wicked and sinful speech. So that means the one who's really trying to practice Salafiyyah will practice, have good manners, and treat people accordingly. And they will not be the, the biggest backbiters, but instead they will be trying to restrain their tongue. Because the Prophet wasallam mentioned that that is one of the wicked mazmoon characteristics. And Ahlul Sunnah obviously follows the Sunnah. They don't follow the opposite. So you will find that maybe your experience of individuals and masajid and certain groups of individuals was negative and like that, and you found a cult-like behavior. But that does not reflect Dawah to Ahl Sunnah, the Menhaj of the Salaf. That's not what we learn from our scholars. That's not what Imam Muqbil taught. It's not what Imam Bin Baz taught. That's not what Imam uh, Al Albani taught. That's not what Imam uh, Bin Uthaymin taught, and the countless other scholars living now, and those who preceded them, and those during their time. They didn't teach that. Those from Ahl Sunnah that are beloved, that illustrated the, the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Because the Dawah to Ahl Sunnah, as I love this statement that our Shaykh uh, mentioned, Shaykh Muqbil bin Hadi al Wadi, Allah Yarhamahu, he said, <coughs> he said, Dawah to Ahl Sunnah, Dawah uh, min kitabi la ila kitabi la. Women, Sunnati Rasulillahi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, ila Sunnati Rasulillahi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That is from the Book of Allah to the Book of Allah. That's what we call to. It's not calling to my clique. It's not calling to my masjid. It's not calling to my, my crew. Not calling to my mektaba. Not calling to my publications. Not calling to my website. Not calling to this. No. Nah. It's calling, it's from the Book of Allah to the Book of Allah. And from the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Meaning, we begin with the means and the ends, and we end with the same, uh, uh, the same uh, ending because it's calling to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's what da'wah, that's what da'wah to Ahl sunnah is. That's what the da'wah to Ahl sunnah is. It's a da'wah based on correcting the, meth, the, the minhaj and the aqidah and the greed and the thick of the people in according to the book of Allah and the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam in according to the understanding of the pious predecessors. This is what we our, our, our da'wah is and what we try to achieve and attain. And due to the and just because you found shortcomings and wicked sins and and, and wrong and mistakes from some does not reflect kun. It doesn't reflect all. And so this is why it's very important to know and understand what is the methodology of the Salaf and also who's following it. So that way you know where to take your knowledge from. And if you have the ability, take it from the scholars. Go to the, to the ulama of Ahl Sunnah, those who, ex who, who exhibit ilm wa amal, uh, knowledge and practice. Because as the Salaf used to say, al-amal thamrat al-ilm. 
that deeds are the fruits of knowledge. And that's what we need to do. But unfortunately, many of us, because we didn't re, uh, we didn't clean our own hearts. We didn't focus on our own tarbiyah. We focus on changing everyone else to just follow our clique and our crew instead of follow instead of uh, ourselves following the the minhaj and the methodology and practicing Islam properly and getting the tarbiyah and cleaning the diseases out of our hearts and the sins. That since we didn't focus on that, we lost. And many other people were scared away. And it gave the da'wah a bad name. So, it's very important to know and distinguish, similar to the way that you have so many people claiming Islam is a religion of terrorism, and it's a, a religion of uh, extremism, and so on and so forth. But we see from the Nasus of the Book of Allah, and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, that that's not the case. And we see from the practice, even of not just most of the Muslims, but almost, uh, you know, we could say 95% of the Muslims is far away from that 5%, if it's even that high, of people around the world that are deviant, terrorist, uh, extremist, with extremist ideologies. And so that's the point. So we don't throw out Islam because we found some extremists. Likewise, you don't throw out Salafi, uh, Salafia because you found some people who were ignorant, and who are not exhibiting the da'wah to Ahl Sunnah properly. And so those are just a few things I wanted to say, and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah, anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan.